Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn about match color. Now, maybe you have some creativity. Maybe you seem like you're running out of creativity and you want something just to help you out. Well, match color allows you to modify the colors of an image to match the colors of another image. Hmm. Okay, so I have this image here of this painting. I didn't correct it. I just left it as is. I've could've, I could have made it richer in color and obviously correct the... Um, barreling and, and the distortion in the image, but I'm not worried about it. I just want to see how it would look with this image, just from a creative aspect. And we've seen this image before. So if I were to go to Image, Adjustment, well, excuse me, I would press Control J first because you never want to um, destroy the background layer. Image, Adjustment, and I'll go all the way down here to a command called Match Color, and it brings up this dialog box. Now it says the target is the tiger black and white. So this is the target image. I have some options. I can adjust the luminance, the color intensity, and I can fade between the two images that we're going to apply. And I can also neutralize it. But right now, the match color says, hey, I don't know who you want to match it with, but I'm assuming you want to match it with the same image right now. So we have to help it out a little. So we're going to go down to our source, and the reason I can choose this image is because it's open. So anytime you want to choose an image, make sure your other image is open already. So we just come down here, and we choose Lens Correction, which I call that image. And um, you can actually choose layers too, so if you have that um, ability, you can also do that. And when I do that, you can see what happens. Look at that image and how it changed it, just from adding those colors from that image into this image. And remember I told you you can adjust the luminance. Okay. Then you can adjust the color intensity. Neutralize it if you wanted to. And then you can fade between the two images. So this is full on. And this is the, the original image itself. And then you can find a happy medium in between. If you want to reset, remember to press Alt. Click Reset. Also, make sure that your preview is, preview is checked so you can see what's going on and click OK. And look at the difference in this image. Here's the image which you can see um, a little yellowish. And now look, it looks a little bit more dramatic, more color, and that's not even coming up with anything. That's just allowing another image's colors to be placed into an image. And I think that's great for photo correction and for helping you out because it allows creativity to come through if you're, let's say, stuck or in a rut or would like to see how something would work.